E.ON have finally released the rates for their new solar and battery tariff, but is it any good? In this video, I'll show you how you can get a quote, what my rates are in the northeast of England, and how it compares to the most popular and widely available solar and battery tariff, Octopus Flux. Finally, I'll run the numbers on my spreadsheet to show you the difference in savings over the year compared to my current tariff, E.ON Next Drive version 5, and Octopus Flux. Let's get straight into it. So the secrecy that shrouds E.ON's next solar boost solar and battery tariff continues and you can't actually find it on their website at the time of making this video. I emailed E.ON and was sent a couple of links which I'll pop in the video description box below if you want to get a quote. Essentially there's a link for new customers and one for existing ones. You'll need to complete this type form with your details. Within 24 hours of completing the form they emailed me with the tariff rates, times and other details and I'll go through these now. So you can see it's a 12 month fixed tariff. To be eligible, you need to have solar and battery storage, a smart meter and pay by direct debit. And now for the rates. The standing charge is the same as my current Nextdrive V5 tariff at 72.1p per day. As we knew already from my last video, there are two off peak slots. Between 1am and 5am, you'll pay 16.9p per kilowatt hour. Between 1pm and 3pm, you'll pay 18.91p per kilowatt hour and all other times are charged at 25.13p per kilowatt hour. And as before with the next drive tariff, there are no exit fees. It doesn't even mention export rates in the email I got, so one would assume that we carry on with the next exclusive V2 tariff for export at 16.5p per kilowatt hour. And that's throughout the day. Ta-da! What do you think? I was pretty disappointed, first off. But then on reflection, is that because I'm comparing it to the next drive tariff? which is just brilliant with its seven hours of 6.7p per kilowatt hour electricity. So let's even things up and compare it to another solar and battery tariff, Octopus Flux. Okay, so we have Eon's new next solar boost on the left and Octopus Energy's Octopus Flux on the right. Just to be clear, this is standard Octopus Flux rather than intelligent Octopus Flux. Solar boost rates are fixed for 12 months, whereas Octopus Flux is a variable tariff. And as we saw last year, Octopus aren't afraid to change them and not always in your favour. Eligibility is much the same without delving into the small print. We've already mentioned Eon's solar boost rates. Octopus Flux daily standing charge is 70.05p per day, slightly cheaper than with Eon. Between 2am and 5am electricity will cost us 14.11p per kilowatt hour. Between 4 and 7pm, that's the really expensive busy time slot that you definitely want to avoid, it's 32.9p per kilowatt hour and at all other times it's 23.51p per kilowatt hour. As you'll know, Octopus Flux is an import and export tariff. Export between 4pm and 7pm is a fab 24.81p per kilowatt hour, and at all other times it's 12.58p per kilowatt hour. I know there is an export rate between 2am and 5am, but it's always confused me. Who would want to export at that time for a measly 4.21p per kilowatt hour? So, I'll ignore that one. Okay, now we've got the rates, let's make some comparisons. Whilst both of Eon's off-peak rates are higher than Octopus, it does give us the benefit of six hours of off-peak pricing compared to the three hours that Octopus offer. For us, we can usually charge our home battery in those three hours, and the second off-peak period isn't particularly useful. But for some of you whose battery runs out during the day and struggle to avoid that four to 7 p.m. peak period on flux, especially during the winter, this could be a very welcome addition. The import rate at all other times is slightly cheaper with Octopus than it is with Eon. Export rates are an interesting one. Eon gives us a fixed rate of 16.5p per kilo hour. On paper, it looks more attractive to aim for that peak export rate of 24.81p per kilo hour on Flux. But in reality, when we were on Octopus Flux over the last couple of years before moving to Eon, we seldom exported at those times, apart from the months of May, June, July, and August. And even then, it wasn't huge amounts. Our average export rate during the summer months on Flux interestingly averaged around 16.5p per kilowatt hour and 14p per kilowatt hour for the remainder of the year. However, since we were last on Flux, the export rates dropped, so I suspect we'll achieve a lower export average now. With both Eon and Octopus, there are no exit fees. Okay, time for my favorite bit, running the numbers. But before I do, over 90% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. If you find them useful, then please do subscribe to the channel for free and hit the like button. It really does help keep me motivated to keep making videos just like this one. I'm going to compare Eon's next drive V5 with Octopus Flux and finally the new solar boost tariff from Eon. 
I've added all my details at the top and the import and export rates for each tariff. If you want to have a go at running your own numbers too, I'll drop the link to this spreadsheet in the video description box below. And if it looks a bit overwhelming, I've put together this walkthrough guide to help you. Okay, once we've done that, we can click on the get results button. As predicted, the next drive V5 tariff takes all the plaudits, boasting the highest total year savings, lowest payback time and highest return on investment. The standing charges, however, are just under £10 more than Flux. Behind it in second place is the Solar Boost tariff and in third place is Flux, with the lowest total year savings. There would be around a £65 saving for us with Solar Boost compared to Flux, when you take into account the standing charge. What I would say is that you may want to consider all the extra perks that Octopus offer that Eon don't, such as their saving sessions, power hours and free coffees, etc. Okay, I think I was wrongly unfair on Eon when I opened my email and looked at the rates. The rates are what? What have they done? The Solar Boost tariff has going for it double the number of off-peak hours Flux does and the export rate is set at 16.5p per kilo hour all day long. I think if you like force exporting your battery, then that peak export period from 4 to 7 p.m. on Flux is probably quite lucrative. And one will need to take into consideration the conversion losses and needing to then last till the next off-peak period and avoid running on day rate electricity. The other thing to bear in mind is that Eon's Solar Boost is fixed for 12 months, whereas Octopus Flux is variable, which is probably quite an important consideration given that energy prices are due to go up in 2025 and we may therefore see some changes here. It certainly makes it worth looking at a used electric car to get onto an electric car tariff and benefit from those lower rates. Eon will need to improve their delivery of quotes for this solar boost tariff though, as when I want an energy tariff quote, I want it there and then, and not via an email the next day. But maybe I'm being picky and it's a brand new tariff. If you're thinking of joining Eon or Octopus, don't forget to check out our channel referral link to split £100 energy credit between you and the channel. Thank you in advance if you do sign up by our referral link, it really does help keep the channel going. So, do we finally have a competitor to Octopus Energy's Flux Tariff? I think it will certainly be appealing for some. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.